biofilms are a concern for almost every food manufacturing plant. They can harbor both food spoilage and pathogenic microbial species. Due to the nutrients that flow down the drain each day in a food plant, drain systems are key areas where these biofilms originate. They can then spread throughout the facility by anything which passes through or over these drain systems. From this, we designed in our laboratory a drain system to culture real-world type biofilms in drains and test a variety of chemical formulations against them. We could then determine the optimal formulations for our food plant drain sanitation program called DrainGuard, which is part of our comprehensive, proactive BrandGuard food safety program. Each drain is inoculated with replicate carriers using equal amounts of Listeria monocytogenes, Escherichia coli, and Salmonella typhimurium in a mixed culture. Once carriers are inoculated, they are placed in the drain traps, and the nutrient flow is started by a feed of a 10% diluted triptych soy broth. Every 45 minutes, 115 milliliters of the diluted liquid broth is split between two drains for a total of three gallons over an allotted 96-hour incubation time. The minimal nutrients stress the bacterial cells, causing them to attach to the drain surfaces, forming the biofilm samples. Once the biofilms have developed over the drain surfaces, control drains, traps, and carriers are removed, and the test samples exposed to the foaming cleaner. After a set contact time, the drains and traps are swapped with neutralizing broth, and the replicate carriers placed in a set volume of neutralizing broth. Dilutions of controls and test samples are plated out into nutrient agar. Bacterial reductions from the exposed samples are compared against the control samples to determine log reductions. Thank you.